What's up guys? I got a little bit of a different video for you today. I'm gonna to review um, an interview I seen with the mayor of Miami. The interview was on the Full Send podcast uh, with Brad Bradley Martin. I've been following Brad for a while now and uh, I came across the interview. I really like the mayor because he's fit, right? He, he's fit and I like politicians when they're not extreme. He seems like he's right in the middle, so I listened to him, and um, during this podcast, he, he made a lot of great points where he even talked about CrossFit. You've never seen a depressed tan guy. Yeah. yeah. It's in, like- Vitamin up. D, vitamin D. But, uh, but yeah, absolutely. No, I think, and, and health. I mean, when we talk about working out, like there's no doubt that, uh, you know, we, we do something called the Mayor's Fit Series. So I do a Mayor's Challenge every week. I put out a workout, a limited equipment workout that we put out on social. And then we highlight gyms throughout the city. So sometimes it's CrossFit, sometimes it's uh, yoga, sometimes it's whatever. Um, we've, you know, supplement, whatever, you know, we do, we do a variety of stuff because we want people to focus on health. The mayor fit series, uh, I think is a great idea. And I don't know why more politicians don't do that. Um, and the fact that he actually named CrossFit was where I was like, Hey, that was pretty cool. Uh, but just, uh, the fact that he is going around trying to highlight, you know, small businesses that encourage health and fitness, um, just goes to show that he's not beholden to this big pharma idea, right? Just the money coming in that you are promoting all these sugary drinks and sugary processed food then mental health i think in this country is one of the biggest problems right and, it's uh, fucking huge. it's yeah. important and, too. and substance abuse right like the combination of those two and they're interrelated if you're if you're yeah. suffering mentally you go to the substances to like like make yourself feel better right and i think you know it's important we, we don't talk about it enough in this country and we don't dedicate it enough I really like that they tackle this issue. Obviously, I've had my issues with substance abuse. I am a, a former or recovering addict. I will always be an addict. I've been clean now for four years, but I know the vicious cycle of of mental health and substance abuse because you feel better after you use or while you're using. You feel better. You don't think about what you know what's going on, but then. Every come down, every time you come down, you're hit with reality. And that's when, you know, I'm sure a lot of people get into a lot of dark places. Everything is about medicine. It's like, there's a problem, take medicine. As opposed to work out, as opposed to, you know, even go out in the sun, like you were saying, you know, like do something that's healthy that doesn't involve medicine. You know what I mean? It doesn't involve, yeah. you know, these things. I absolutely love this because we all know that quality movement is the cure for any ailment. Taking medicine is what they want us to do. They're just getting all these kids and all these people on medicine instead of just prescribing them a prescription of high intensity fitness. That, that, so, I mean, that, that business cycle, really, the whole pharmaceutical. It's what it is. It's a huge business cycle. So it, that's the frustrating part is like, of course, people should know that the actual fix, not necessarily for all mental ailments is like training, working out and it's a sun, but we get so caught up in just trying to like fucking band-aid it instead of actually make it better. Now, getting back to Big Pharma, this is the business cycle. And I actually read an article recently and it was from the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. And it talked about how um, there's been tons of quid, uh, quid pro quos in the food industry with all of these all of these big um, cereal brands like Kellogg's and, and Nestle. And all of these people are, are out there prescribing all this shitty food. Bruh. And it's, it's just, it's baffling. Yeah, like like no like in, for kids, for example, resiliency, right? Like you know, sometimes adversity is adversity is not a bad thing. It's how do you handle the adversity, right? And I think what happens is we don't teach our kids skills on resiliency on how to deal with adversity, um, which leads to mental health issues. Obviously, you know we love these things, but they're they're you know they're they're a challenge, you know, particularly for the next generation for my kids. Yeah, um, if I let my son play video games literally all day long from the moment he woke up to the moment he went to bed. It would be, yeah. you know, How old is he? Yeah, he's nine. This last part was my favorite because it hits on kids and just the resiliency that a kid needs to build over his life and how nowadays kids are not building that same resiliency that we had back in the day, whether it be from video games or just, you know, not having a male influence in their life. They're not getting the resiliency that we once get. So we got a little bit of a different video. I hope you guys appreciated it. It was just something I was listening to and I thought it would make for cool content. Uh, give the video a like, subscribe if you hadn't, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.